afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. As you can see, there is a lot of news to get to. We're going to begin right now with crews working to clean up this massive tree that came crashing down on two Decatur homes. A family trapped inside one of them. Firefighters had to rescue a teen with debris from up to his neck. Now, our Yasmina Alston live on Drexel Avenue. Yasmina, how's that family doing this noon? Karen, good afternoon. Like you said, uh, fire officials are telling us that four people were inside of that house. One person had to be rescued, but thankfully everyone is OK. No one was injured. But if you look behind me, you can see that there is still a huge mess that needs to be cleaned up after that tree came crashing down earlier this morning. Glad they're OK. Wow. This is Drexel Avenue after a massive tree came crashing down early Tuesday morning in Decatur. It was uh, surprising that it's this big of a tree. It's massive. Michael Rizuski lives nearby and says he heard the crash of the tree coming down on two houses. Fire officials say there were four people in one of the houses. One of those people had to be rescued. They are OK. And that wasn't even raining too hard. It was just a little bit of drizzle there and uh, just be thankful that uh, everybody's OK and you know, pro property's property, right? Cars are cars and houses can be repaired. It looks like major damage. Looks like part of the siding is taken off and you can't even practically see anything because of all the branches. The tree blocked the road as crews work to clean it up. Residents say the neighborhood is full of big trees and they're glad this one didn't cause any injuries. We all love our big trees, you know, but I guess there's the there's a sweet spot between the beauty of the trees and the uh, when they're going to fall in a house. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see that's just a massive tree. You can't even see the other home there that that tree came uh, falling down onto. You can see crews over here. They're working to try and get this tree cleaned up. And we are told that the cleanup efforts are going to go well into the afternoon. We'll, of course, be keeping you updated because, as you can see, traffic can't get through this way on the road. We're live in Decatur. Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. The sound of chainsaws. Yasmina, thanks. And that wasn't the only.